22-year-old charity fundraiser Kirsty Ashton also suffers from the same condition, which she inherited from her mum. She was diagnosed when she was just 11 weeks old. Through neurofibromatosis, she also developed scoliosis, which is curvature of the spine. Basically, with neurofibromatosis, it's grown on tumours throughout the body, so I'm having to have regular operations to remove them because they causing pressure points and the hurting and with the scoliosis it gives me bad back pain but it's also NF related so I have to wear the Boston brace and take lots of tablets to try and stop the pain. Just put your hair back and let me just have a look. The commonest type is called type 1 or oh, NF1 for short nice. and that's the one that Kirsty and her mum have. Just relax a bit. Ah, there it is, that one. So NF1 for everybody with the condition is a skin condition as such in that those are the changes that everybody has. What makes it really frustrating to live with is there's a large list of complications that can happen and those don't happen in everybody with NF1. Neurofibromatosis is, is a, a, a number of different conditions. In uh, you have neurofibromatosis type 1, or NF1 for short, which is the most common form, and about 1 in 2,500 people have that. And it's uh, mainly manifested by the development of nerve-related tumours, particularly in the skin, called neurofibromas. So NF1 affects people in many different ways. The, the usual way is that uh, the first thing that would be noticed is uh, pigment marks on the skin. Birth, they may be there at birth, as in birthmarks, and they're called cafe au lait patches. So they're slightly darker than the surrounding skin, and they're usually smooth edged. And so individuals with NF1 will have six or more of these usually by the time they're five or six years of age. And also, you get other pigment on the skin, freckles in the armpits and groin, the non sun exposed parts of the body. Okay. These are my drugs. I've got to take these before I go out. These are my yucky ones, so I'm going to have these ones first. Kirsty has really had to put up with a lot of pain. She's undergone quite major surgery. She's had two operations on her spine one to make the spine more flexible and then a second operation to insert screws and hooks and bolt the spine straight. My name is Krista Winter and um, I'm co-founder of Children with Tumours which is a charity set up purely for children um, with um, various life-threatening conditions. Um, we have decided to concentrate um, our energies um, on, in the first instance, a very uh, difficult um, and overlooked condition called neurofibromatosis. Everything is going to be done online so that our children have easy access to children all over the world. And children with Tumours has a strap line which is building confidence, giving hope. And the idea is that the building confidence is to um, be developed through camps where children have the opportunity to get together and have fun whether it's in this country or in America and can exchange with children in other countries um, to have placements for example just like a pen pal arrangement um, where a child might go to France or Italy um, so that's the building confidence side and then the giving hope is research um, much uh, needed research uh, to develop treatments and hopefully one day cures for uh, neurofibromatosis or NF as it's called. Adam and Kirsty were both badly bullied. So in terms of life expectancy, there is a little bit of shortening of life expectancy in NF1. Uh, by and large that's uh, due mainly to the malignant tumour that can occur on the, the nerve roots which affects about 10% of people with NF1. But overall, the life expectancy we've just published is only around six or seven years on average less than the average person in the UK. And if you don't get this malignant tumour on, uh, on the nerve roots, which occurs in the 20s and 30s, then life expectancy is close to normal. Now, ultimately, I have no qualms, no hang-ups, no regrets about what I do, how I live, and the situation I'm in. Is it unbearable? No, I'm perfectly happy. I've got a great life, great friends, 
good career. So, will I change anything? No. Life isn't what you want it to be, it's what you make it become. Yes, I might have an F, but an F does not have me. Am I bothered that I have an F? No. I'm very happy the way I am. My life is amazing, I've done amazing things. I'm just a happy person, I'm happy the way I am. Would I change anything? No.